So recently something I've been seeing on Instagram is an elimination game eliminating a main character from the Stranger Things cast every day to find out the best character in Stranger Things. And I was like, man, this is a pretty good idea. So let me make some content on this. So today we're going to be doing a Stranger Things character tier list. So first off, Will Byers. Now, I really hate to do my man like this, but he belongs in the D tier for asking to play D&D &D so much. And that seems like all he did. He was barely there for the whole season one. In season two, he was busy being possessed. In season three was the only time we actually got to know Will Byers. And he was just super lame, annoying. He definitely belongs in the D tier. Next up, we have Joyce Byers or Will Byers mom. I will be putting this in the B category. I actually didn't mind her too much. She was really annoying in the first season, but I really loved her during the se third season just because Joyce and Hopper or people like to say Jopper. I, I just really loved that ship and you know, she wasn't too bad of a character. So I have to put her in B. Next up, we have the man Hopper himself. I really believe Hopper belongs in the a tier he was personally one of my top three favorite characters in the show overall i really loved hopper he was such a good character and i really regret not buying his skin that was in fortnite because at the time i did not watch the show while he had his own skin in fortnite and to this day i really regret not buying it next up is nancy you know i don't have anything really to say about her i mean lover or hater she was not really that great of a character i guess i'm going to to put her in deep next up we have another personal favorite character of mine mike wheeler i will definitely put mike in the a category he is another one of my top three favorite characters in the show i don't know why i like him so much he was just such a cool kid i really liked him during the whole show and like how he evolved and it was really cool how he helped 11 in the first few episodes he was definitely one of the characters that had a bigger impact on the story and the character you had a huge connection to in the show next up we have dustin Dustin was annoying in the beginning of the show. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really like him, but then I I don't know I started loving Dustin like he became one of my favorite characters He's not in my top three favorite characters, but he belongs in the a spot. He's such a funny character He's adorable with his Clyde recranial dysplasia, dude I love saying that word and it was so adorable every time he said it during the show now our first S tier is Alexi. Love him or hate him, he was the most adorable and iconic character in Stranger Things. He is so underrated that he is overrated. And I really don't see people with having their profile pictures as 11. No, everybody's profile picture on YouTube is this picture right here of Alexi. Overall, he was adorable. I loved it when he went to drive off and Hopper predicted that he was gonna he was gonna come back and then he was just in the car still and he was just such a good character and I loved him and it definitely made me sad when he got shot at the carnival because he was having so much freaking fun, bro. And it really, really makes me sad. Next up on our list, we have Lucas. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody can agree with this pick it, he he is going in the f tier i don't think anybody can disagree he was the most annoying character during out the show he was in the beginning he was so rude to 11 and just throughout the whole show all he did was complain and he was really such an annoying character to me and i really really dislike him now next up we have his girlfriend max she is going in the f tier too bro i I, I, she was really cool in the beginning. Like she was really rude, but I was like, all right, she, she cool. She cool. But then she broke up Mike in 11 and I was like, oh, bro. Okay. Okay. Max, I'm sorry, bro, but you are dead to me. You are my least favorite character right next to Lucas. Next up, we have Jonathan, bro. This is just like Nancy. I just don't like this character. He was super boring and I don't, I don't see why anybody else would like him. He was such an, he was just such a boring character 
tier so i definitely have to put him in the e tier now last but not least my favorite character 11 she is going in the s tier there there is just no other place where she belongs her evolution throughout the show was insane. The first episode, she looks completely different from how she does in the last episode of season three. And you can really tell how much these characters grew up. A big thing that I really liked about this show was the characters growing up and seeing how they like became adults. It was kind of crazy. It was like they were my, my, my kids. Steve, I'm going to have to say S tier two. I know I don't want to put too many characters on s tier and i was trying really hard but steve was a complete douchebag in season one and became the coolest character by the end of season three so he definitely deserves the s tier but he's nowhere near 11. anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it would mean a lot if you liked left a like subscribe and turn on notifications and comment what your opinions on who should be where on the tier list okay i want to i want to hear your guys's opinions as well anyways thank you for watching and peace